Hey friends, happy Monday. Good to have you again with us. And we're walking through the New Testament together, one chapter a day, five days a week, moving through and soaping a verse. If you're new to that term, it does, it's an acronym. It stands for scripture, writing down a verse, observing what it says, applying it into our life, and then praying for God's help in it. So today's soap verse is going to be out of James chapter 4. And uh, I'm looking at James chapter 4 and 8 on. It's talking about the unity that God wants to have with us, the relationship he has with us. And here's what it says. James 4 and 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Now listen to that again. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. It's talking about the relationship that we can have with God through Jesus. And if you remember those first moments of meeting somebody that interested you, maybe the first date or before the first date, there's two elements that have to happen for us to make that connection. It, it needs to be a situation where there's proximity to each other. We, we connect, we run into the same circle or hit the same website or, or meet in the same location. And then there's pursuit. There's proximity and pursuit. And you would read this thinking that we're doing all the pursuing. Draw near to God. I have to pursue God, and then he will draw near to me. But that's not exactly true. Listen to that again. Draw near to God. He's already in proximity. He's already there. We've taken notice of him. We long to get to know who he is. We see him. He's made the moment of proximity available to us, and then we pursue a relationship with him. If you think about that, I think about that in my first date, the proximity allowed me to connect with Diana, to meet her, to get to watch her, to observe, to know her. I was a bagger. She was a cashier. So I got to race over to her aisle and bag up her customers' groceries just to get a glimpse of her eyes or get to say hi to her each time. That proximity and pursuit started the relationship. And that's exactly what Jesus did. He created the proximity. He came from heaven onto earth to walk with us, to be a son of man and still be the son of God and created the proximity for us to be with him so that we could have a relationship. And then the verse after that goes on. It says, cleanse your hands, purify your hearts, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. It talks about that there's more after you make that proximity and start the pursuit that just like your first date after you meet somebody, you go and you take a shower and you clean the car and you clean yourself up, you put on some cologne or some perfume, you do something to present yourself well to the one you're interested in. Well, that's exactly what we do when we start to pursue God. And you know what's even better about that? He helps us in that. He cleans us and works from the inside out to cleanse us and to make us holy again and to make us presentable before the Father in his holiness through the blood of Jesus. I just share that with you to let you think about that today. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. He's already proximity, in proximity to you. He's waiting on you to make a move. And when you do, he brings all of his love and grace and mercy and holiness into your life. God bless you. Have a great day. We'll finish up James tomorrow with another verse about unity with each other, appropriate after election week. And we'll see you then. Have a great day.